Smokey there, boys and girls. Mr. Tom, I don't know if that is a thundercloud or one of his, uh, at this time of the year, we'll say competition. But, uh, and I don't know how long they're gonna stay there. There's two or three gobblers out there, so Thunder Chicken could be out there with some serious competition. I'm in the truck. We're going fishing over it. Gonna try desperately to put a boat in uh, Big Canyon Lake. It's, it's extremely low. We might be stuck all day, I don't know. We have a rod and reels, we get stuck, we'll just leave it stuck. Call Apache with the tractor and fish off the bank. <laughs> We're going fishing. But now is that beautiful right there? Now girls, this is the way it's done. This is the way God set it up right there. We strut our stuff around a bunch of you and then y'all pick out which one of us you want. That's the way it is. That's the way God had it planned. Uh, if you're a wild turkey. <laughs> Now, if you're a guy like me, I don't know how I got tricked and bamboozled into this lifelong affair, but it's been a pretty good one. But I'm gonna pull on up here now. I don't know how, how, how close they'll let us get. I'm zoomed in a long way. I've got the camera stuck out the window right now just because my windshield is so dirty. Jimmy, how come your windshield's dirty? Because I live on a ranch. I'll try to get up here close. I apologize for the bad audio. I just did not have time to, they got them a bunch of girls there. I'm gonna pull back and shoot through my dirty windshield. There you go. Now those girls are getting nervous because these are wild turkeys. It's totally wild turkeys. And the guys are saying, oh my gosh, look at those guys. Look at that, look at that beard. That may be thunder chicken. That's probably thunder chicken and that's some competition. There's no competition for thunder chicken with that long beard. All right, girls, what are y'all thinking? Look at Thunder Chicken. Is that gorgeous? I'm telling you what. Oh, he's gobbled. You see when he stuck his nose up? We couldn't hear it. But that's, 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 that's life in wild in the spring. You gotta fight for them girls. He's got big old long spurs. Look at him, look at him. Oh, he got some tail feathers missing maybe. You been battling somebody. Probably got tail feathers or missing just cause he's so old. Look at him. Okay, Jimmy, you done run my girls out of the field. I'm out here walking in the woods. I'm not, I know there's no girls behind me, they're all in front of me. It's just, all right, Thunder Chicken. It's just parting shot. You have a party, I'm gonna have a party with a rod and reel in my hand. Later, buddy, have fun. Well, it is not a champion. It is not a champion, but God's bow in the sky. We've just barely, barely, barely got a little sunshine. We've just got a little sunshine coming, coming over from the west. Still a little sprinkles out there. We finally got a little rain. I haven't had a chance to look at the gauge. I don't know how much. It's kind of, kind of really hard. It's done, the camera is really not wanting to do a very good job on that rainbow. It's a really wide rainbow, but it's just, it's kind of a shorty. <laughs> kind of a little shorty. It's uh, beautiful out there on the lake though. Uh, there was tornadoes all around today. Tornadoes around Texas and Oklahoma. I haven't heard of hopefully nobody got injured or there wasn't too much property damage. And uh, it is beautiful. We got rain. Uh, like I said, I don't know how much. I hadn't had a chance to check it, but it's pretty nice rain. We fished in the rain all day off and on. And honestly, we smacked them. We whacked them good. I mean to tell you, we whacked them. It was just absolutely a fantastic day. We got a little wet, but we got good rain gear on, and we had a spectacular day. Uh, I know that's not any of Lucy's herd, but anytime you see a rainbow, it just makes you thankful that we've got a God who will never ever destroy the earth again or destroy mankind again with a flood. That's nice, the ducks are swimming around out there. There's a bunch of them, look at all of them swimming around out there. 
and God's rainbow in the sky. I love it, I love it, I love it. Hey guys and girls, how are all y'all? How you doing babies? How's my babies? How's my babies? We got high winds coming from the north today, guys. At least it's not blowing much out here right yet. Y'all are pretty protected. Golly, it's a big herd out here this morning. Yeah, are y'all ready for something to eat? Y'all ready for something to eat? Said so we want Jimmy or Apache. We don't really care. We're not particular. Hi, you big old doe. Hi, you big old girl. Yeah, you big old pretty thing. No TC there. And I saw Forrest out here earlier. Oh, there he is right over there. There's Mr. Forrest right there. Yeah, buddy. Y'all can come on in here if you want. Forrest says, I'm going to come in here. And if I'm lucky, Jimmy will feed me right out of the bucket. Right out of the bucket. How about that, guy? You ready for something to eat? Uh huh? Everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah, we're ready. Big old pretty does. Some big old pretty does. Yeah. Come on, guys and girls. Come on, guys and girls. Yeah, it's good. That deer down that there laying down, not even paying any attention to what's going on. Oh, I said, I think I'll better get up and get me some groceries here this morning. Yep. Several of these deer are totally wild deer. That one right there. Totally wild deer, you see no tags. You tell they're totally wild. Those three or four right there, all those all those deer right there have no tags in their ear. That means that they were born totally in the wild. They were not born in the in the deer pens and and ones that we've let go. Now some of these, like that little little buck right there, it's gonna be a big buck right there. It's gonna be a dandy. He's got a tag in his ear, so he was born actually born in the pen this year. That's one of the babies. What we call our babies right there and he's a beauty now it's one there. there's one you remember when we had all the deer get out one with all the white on her and she i think she's just changing coats she's changing from a winter coat to a springtime coat so she's gonna be she's gonna be really good everybody's happy this morning y'all all happy this morning we're happier now than we were a few minutes ago jimmy a few minutes ago, we was waiting, waiting on the kitchen crew to show up. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen critters here today. Might be another or two out there behind a the tree I've missed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all good. Good morning, guys and girls. How are y'all doing? What do you think? All the cold weather go? Is spring gonna get here or not, Forrest? How's your little girlfriend? I think you got a little cute girlfriend, Forrest. You like them little tiny girls like that? She's pretty, isn't she? Look at all of that. My goodness. My goodness, we got sunshine and a spring day, finally. I'm telling you what, I've been trying to get this spring here for a month. It's cool out here this morning. It's cold. I've got a coat on. But I think it's gonna get in the 60s and then it's going to get in the 70s and the 80s in a few days and it's going to be good hi guys hi guys yeah everybody looky here at this little pretty bunch of deer my goodness look at this pretty bunch of deer yeah you guys are so pretty no fighting this morning. There's plenty for everybody. No fighting. Everybody give everybody else something to eat. Yeah, so it's windy. The wind just now hit. It was calm when I started this, and now the video sounds terrible, doesn't it? All right, guys, enjoy. Okay, it is windy, windy, windy. The, uh, we're gonna slip up here. I think you're just looking in there. It looks like that Mama Owl is not home. I hope nothing has happened to the baby because just about every time you pull up there, Mama's in there with him, but she might be out hunting right now, trying to find some groceries. Probably going down to the local Sooners food market or Walmart, Kroger's, whatever. I don't know where she shops. Wherever she can find a coot or a crappie or a rabbit or a rat, 
or something's got the meat on it for that one baby owl in there. We're going to jump up here and take a look at her. It's a great way to end this week's deer video. Or deer and owl videos now, aren't we? You bet, you bet, deer and owls. And see if that beautiful little, golly, that beautiful little, we got a problem. We got a problem right there. My buddy Jeff, I'll turn around here a minute. My buddy Jeff has done caught a big old bass. <laughs> Looky there, Jeff. Fish. What do you think, buddy? Hold him up here. Fish. He's interrupting, interrupting the owl story to catch a five pound bass. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Work. That's good. Do it again. Do it again. They're not biting real good today, but I think that is number 26. I think Jeff's caught two. <laughs> Jeff's actually the champion today. Uh, Lewis and I are being very, very nice to him. Okay. I hope that, I hope that baby owl's not in there. That owl not flying out got me kind of worried. I think I see it. I think I see it. Do I see it in there? Can y'all see it? In yeah, there it is. There it is. Y'all see it? There she is. One little white owl. I'm going to ease up here real nice and quiet and slow. We don't want to scare her because she has no reason to be scared of anything. Mama's taking care of her. I'm going to go up here and take a little look at her. I keep calling it a her. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl owl. We just know it's a pretty little rascal. Come up here and take a... Oh, I see fish scales down in there. You see those fish scales? Oh, there's a bluegill in there. There's a bluegill. That's the interesting thing. You see that bluegill to the right of that bird? That mama owl caught a bluegill. Now, I wonder what she was using for bait. And that coot that was in there is 100% gone. The only thing is the, the foot is still hanging out here on the outside, but has eaten it all. There's not even any feathers in there. Now, I know they don't eat the feathers. They've thrown the feathers away. But that baby owl has had a fish dinner. Now, how in the world did that owl, but I told you I've seen crappie in here. I've seen crappie in here before. She's kind of shivering, isn't she? She's standing, oh, hey, look at him. Raising his beak up like he would need something to eat. I know he's not hungry. Got a whole fish in there. Pretty good sized bluegill. You think an owl's not a hunter and a killer? They are. They're killing machines. They know how to catch and kill. They are total meat eaters as far as I know. But that is a beautiful little bird, doesn't have much hair on its back, or fuzz, or whatever they call it right now. But that's just a beautiful little baby, and it's got a fish dinner. That owl's pretty resourceful. I've seen crappie in there, first time I've seen a bluegill. I've seen rabbits, rats, ducks. I've never seen a goose. Goose wouldn't hardly fit in there. Uh, and I've seen now I've seen a bluegill cropping. All right, there we go, guys and girls. What a great way to end the week. Y'all have a great weekend, and remember, I sure do love you.